side and the hamstring as well, right? Fantastic. Higher, as high as you can go. Okay, lower the, lower the thing first. Okay? That's where you want to be. Okay? No, higher still. Just about there and there. Okay? Now press it up. Are you comfy with that? Now when you come all the way down for me, all the way down, right down, right down, as far back, you're a flexible girl. Now push up, right, and stop there and tense for me. Tense the back side. Yeah. Okay, go back, right down again. Right, and push back up for me. That's, and push back up. Okay, you can lock it now. We're going to do a proper one now. Now I've asked you to put your feet up this way on the plate, right? Simply because we want to hit both the hamstring yeah. as well as the back side. This will also be determined by how far she drops the resistance. She has to go as close her knees can go towards her shoulders. Yeah. You see? That will get the backside into it. Now in the conventional leg press, if you went that way, that's why many people have big backsides from training with the leg press. Yeah. They go too far backwards. You yeah. see? Once you bend the knees, you shouldn't go to the point at which your backside gets involved. Now she's going to do some conventional ones. Yeah. Let's go. Push up. Now she was doing a normal leg press, which she probably would have to put her plate in the middle. Go back down. You go about there and you push back up. Go on to non-lockout. That's about fine. Go back down again and then you push back up. Now the moment she goes deeper, now go deep for me. Right down. See the backside gets into the exercise from there. You feel it on the backside, don't you? Let's get some reps done now. We want your backside done as well. I don't no locking out. I smack, I smack your knee. Come on. That's it. Now push. Now it's going to be continuous now. Come on, let's go. Feel. That's it. Non lock out. Go back down again. Push. Non lock out. Back down again. Push. Non lock out. You see, she's starting to shake again. She's starting to shake already. Go on, push. Non lock and I go really make it hard for her. Now stop. Now push. Push. Stop. Push. Stop. Look. You see? Go on, back down again. It's funny. It won't be funny in a second. Come on, let's go. Come on. I know. I'm waiting for sudden death. A time might come where she'll just lose it. And I'm, I'll be here to grab it. Come on. Now push. You're not stopping for me. Let's have four more now. Four my end your saga. That's one. Stop. Go back down. That's it. That's two. And again, go back down. Stop. Push. Three. She's rushing it because she's in agony. Come on, last one now. Push up and lock out. Okay, the plate itself and the resistance really deep. At a certain point below 45 degrees, your backside gets involved. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I have to ask you to drop it low. But on the way back up, you don't need to lock your legs out. Yeah. Don't lock your, uh, your legs out. Don't lock your knees out, rather. Simply because when you do that, you kill the continuous tension. Yeah. It's the muscles develop well and shape well under condition of continuous tension, rather than just joint work. Yeah. Like you see some guys, they come into the gym, they load the plates up with 25 plates on, you know, yeah. ego lifting. Then when they go with the, the plate, they go like that, yeah, yeah. you know. They, 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 they don't drop, they hardly move down, so the muscle doesn't get anything. Yeah. The joint just gets everything. So that's another uh, uh, tip for you, okay? Yeah. So we call it quiz. We give you a little break, eh? Yeah. All right then.